Bevan Lee's A Place to Call Home is a sweeping romantic drama set in 1950s rural Australia. It follows the lives of the Blyes, a wealthy and complicated pastoralist family in New South Wales. And on Channel 7, it cemented its place in TV history and in people's hearts. A disturbed man gained possession of a gun. I can't understand it. Oh, if anything happens to George, I'll do a change of clothes. Noni, it's so lovely to have you here for such a great series. Thank you. And your character, Elizabeth Bly, are you happy with the evolution of this character, which I find fascinating? Look, it's a lovely thing to, to be in a role where it's acknowledged that people evolve. You know, that they're not just static. None of us are the same person we were, you know, mm. five years ago. So it, it's lovely to, to also counter all those people who say, oh, Elizabeth's such a bitch. You know, she was mm. never a bitch. She was always... Well, she, was, she made a pretty good imitation no, at one no, stage. No, 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 no. She had very good reasons for being the way she was, she including that bunch of ingrates, her family. <laughs> um, but, no, she, you know, she's a very sad character in a sense mm. because she's so covered up. She's got yeah. so many layers, so many um, layers to peel away, and she's just starting to realise now at her age, in her 60s, that... You know, maybe she's been making some wrong decisions that haven't served her. Well, that's, yeah, right. well, that's she's quite really she's, lovely. She's now. trying very yeah. hard at the start of the, the third series. She she's, wants to travel, and yes. she's, she's quite a sort of almost submissive character at the start of the, the new series. She, she's almost charming. Well, I think she's hit pretty much rock bottom yes. for her. You know, and and as a, as a mother whose children have left home, you know, it, it is a period of transition yeah. when your children no longer need you, yeah. and so she has to redefine herself alone, as mm. opposed to just being the front person for the family. Mm. So it's lovely to, to see that sort of development and, and see her at mm. a loss also. Yes. You yes. know, because she doesn't know where to go, which way to jump. I thought it was a mark lovely. of the sophistication of the writing of the show that, that Elizabeth actually, very early in the third um, series in the first episode, starts to talk about the great travel writer, the great feminist uh, Freya Starker. Yes. I, thought, I almost fell off my seat. I thought, this is really clever. And you explain it, or Elizabeth explains it so well, that even yeah. if you don't know who this great pioneering woman was, you, you very quickly learn uh, her importance to both the world and to Elizabeth. It's very clever. Indeed, and I, and I love the fact that we can bring these people back into the public's attention because, you know, like so many Australian women in particular who've achieved great things, Nancy Wake was another example, yes. they're not known. Think about history, what, what about this show? How did it come to Foxtel? What, what happened to Channel 7? Tell us the story. Oh, how Nelly, long have we got? Tell us yes. the story. <laughs> well, look, we were all initially contracted for a three-year period with two options, one, one firm series and two options. And when the second one went to air, uh, we were told, you know, we'd have a May deadline where they'd make a decision, but they asked us to shoot two endings uh, to the second series, at which point I thought the writing was probably pretty much on the wall. And then when it started to be screened later and later and later, uh, on a Sunday night, I, I really thought, mm, yeah, there were no billboards, nothing. So it seemed like the decision had been made not to go ahead. Um, so when it was finally cancelled, uh, this huge fan movement swelled yes. up. Yes. And, and several groups were formed, including the Sabre Place to Call Home group, which is now over 5,500 members from all over the world. And they, with a little bit of encouragement from the side, um, <laughs> they bombarded the network with up to 3,000 letters a week for weeks and weeks wow. and weeks. And uh, Brian Walsh at Foxtel got wind of this and uh, with a little bit of encouragement from, I believe, his sister who loved the show, he, he looked at it and, and decided he wanted it. And knowing that Foxtel really wants to make an impact with Australian drama, um, he, he went for it and we were just delighted because we've got yeah. two firm seasons and an option for a third, so it's brilliant. Yeah. No, it's great. And it wasn't finished. And no, I You know, don't. it was not finished. I wanted more. Oh, so mm. did we all. <laughs> yes. It's been an absolute delight <laughs> to have you with us. Thank, Thank you, you very so much. much.